Dan, didn't you produce the 11 last night? Sure did. Well, then what the hell are you still doing here? I'm... Go. I just figured I'd hang around. There's nothing else to do. All right, just go get some rest or something, and uh, we'll find something for you to do later, all right? There's no word from uh, Dan or Julie. Oh, shit. Huh? Well, listen, nobody should know. They're going to find out anyway. Oh, not from us. Okay, let's start the meeting. Dan, what the hell are you doing here? All right, you guys, hit me with your best stuff. Who wants to go first? Well, I'm sure everyone's seen the video from the rally yesterday. Well, judging from the number of complaints, I mean, Jesus, I think everybody and her grandmother's seen this video. Complaints? About what? The graphic nature of the video. I mean, shit, people are dying out there. And I mean, we warn people that it's going to be graphic. I mean, we have graphics at the beginning explaining that it's going to be graphic. Yeah, well, graphic is graphic. That doesn't mean they don't have a right to get freaked out and pissed. Oh, come on, people. If we want to be the leader in this field, we have to think differently. Now, reality TV is huge. And local news is the reality TV, right? We show people what's really happening out there whether it's graphic or not graphic. And the reality is that our hits to our website quadrupled last night. So I want to use that video as much as possible. That's what I was thinking. Terry Steinberg is the head of the local ACLU for the past 12 years. As we know from the video last night, she's no longer with us. We could go to the ACLU and see how they're coping with it. What's the next step? All right, right out of the gate, we've got a winner. News at five. Okay, Jim, what you got? Well, look, it's been three days since the first reports of the outbreak, and their numbers are growing, which obviously means ours are dwindling. So maybe we should get a local religious scholar. No, no religion. <laughs> what about revelations, the end of days? Listen, our audience isn't all Christians. We've got Muslims, we've got Buddhists. We don't want to lose these people. There are even atheists and Agnostics, for God's sake. But 70% of our audience are Christian. No, 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 Jim. The target audience is people 17, women 17 to 54. And they're the ones that buy stuff. So we've got to find compelling stories for them. Like the dangers of high heels for the walking dead. All right, you guys, you know what I mean. Come on, ladies. There's a reason women outnumber men two to one in this newsroom. What would make you watch? Well, if I were out there watching, my main concern would be what to do if one of these zombies bites you. Wait, zombie sounds very cheesy. Uh, let's not use that word. We've got to think of something else. Um, what do the networks call them? The networks have been calling them the infected. <laughs> the networks, they're so boring. Listen, they're not infected people, they're dead people. So we've got to find something that conveys that but has more pizzazz. What do you got? Living dead? Ah. What about Walking Dead? Mm. Uh, how about Flesh Feeders? <laughs> yeah! How about The Living Challenged? Good! I like Zombie American. Dan, I just said no zombie shit. Sorry, I must have missed that. Well, how about a- ah! Lou, can we get somebody out there to shoot this? Shit, already on it. Brian Herb to the newsroom. Brian! Brian Herb to the newsroom. 